Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to various NVIDIA GPU architectures that and I am also going to show you how you can map these architectures with GPU cards offered by NVIDIA and as an example, I will take the GPU cards are on offer in AWS EC2 instances. But first, let's have a look at all of these architectures from this website of NVIDIA and I will drop the link in video's description too. Over the years, NVIDIA has developed several GPU architectures, each with its own set of advancements and features. Starting from the latest, we start from Hopper. This is named after Grace Hopper, a pioneering computer scientist. Hopper architecture introduces significant improvements in AI and deep learning performance. It features the new H100 Tensor Core GPU designed for AI workloads, offering enhanced multi-instance GPU capabilities and support for the Transformer engine, which is optimized for LLMs. Then we have Ada Lovelace. You might have heard that name maybe before. This is named after the English mathematician and writer Ada Lovelace. This architecture powers the GeForce RTX 40 series. This was introduced in 2022. It brings substantial improvements in ray tracing, AI powered graphics through DL DLSS3 and overall computational efficiency, setting new benchmarks for gaming and professional visualization. But I haven't seen this GPU card being much used in AI or ML workloads. Then we have Ampere. Ampere architecture was introduced in 2020 and it marks a significant leap in GPU technology with the A100 for AI and HPC workloads and the GeForce RTX 30 series for gaming. It offers advancement in ray tracing, AI and computational throughput, making it a versatile architecture for a variety of applications. Then we have Turing architecture. Turing architecture was released in 2018 and it is notable for bringing real time ray tracing to the consumer market with the RTX series. Now you must be wondering what is ray tracing? Now in a very simple words, Ray tracing is a rendering technique used to generate images by simulating the way rays of light interact with objects in virtual environment. It's a complex process that aims to mimic the physical behavior of light, including reflections, refractions, shadows, and scattering to, to produce highly realistic graphics. Okay, so that is what ray tracing is, which you are hearing again here and there. Anyway, coming back to the during architecture, as I was saying, it introduces ray tracing cores for ray tracing, tensor cores for AI driven features and improved shader technology enhancing gaming and professional graphics. Then we have a Volta architecture. Volta was introduced in 2017 and it focuses heavily on accelerating AI and deep learning. This introduces or this introduction of tensor cores with Tesla V100 GPU provided a massive boost in computational power for AI research and scientific computing. Then we have previous architectures which are really I don't see much. They are Pascal. Pascal architecture was launched in 2016 and it brought innovations like HBM2 memory and improved efficiency. And it was pivotal in advancing GPU performance for gaming, deep learning and VR applications and it introduces GTX 10 series at that time. Then we had the older one like Maxwell, which was released in 2014. Maxwell architecture emphasized power efficiency with significant advancement in performance per bit. And it was the advent of GTX 900 series. Then we had this Kepler. It was introduced in 2012 and it focused on efficiency and performance, setting new standards for GPU compute capabilities. And it also introduced a famous GPU boost feature. And then we had very old, well, it was Fermi, which was introduced in 2010. And this is where NVIDIA started its commitment to GPU computing 
as it improved the double precision performance and also a lot of features were available especially after this one there was a wide spread adoption of CUDA and I have a separate video where I go into the way more detail around what exactly is CUDA but just to uh, give you a very very quick overview as what CUDA is CUDA stands for compute unified device architecture and it is sort of a parallel computing platform and programming model developed by NVIDIA CUDA allows software developers and programmers to use NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose processing which is also called as GPGPU and it provides CUDA provides a range of tools and libraries and resources through which you can take advantage or optimize the NVIDIA GPUs okay now so for me is when CUDA was really uh, started getting noticed by a lot of developers and even the companies and then we had two more um, previous architectures like Tesla which was introduced in 2006 and this is not the Tesla car this is just the architecture name from Nvidia so this is where um, GPU was GPU started going beyond graphics and then the earliest one the first one was Curie Curie was released in 2004 and this powered the G4 6 and 7 series and it also introduced shader model 3 and enhanced programmable shading capabilities it was only focused on graphics at that time so this is what uh, the whole you know history and different architectures by nvidia i'll drop the link to this page in video description too now if you are using your own nvidia card um, and it could be any card or if you are using it from any cloud prov provider how do you know which architecture that nvidia card belongs to so let me show you how i will give you an example from aws so if you go to aws's website this is aws's website which shows you different accelerated computing or basically the ec2 instances with um, gpu cards now for example if you click on this instance type in aws of g4dn then it shows you a lot of information here from here it doesn't actually tells you which architecture or nvidia architecture this g4dn belongs to but you can um, at least get a hint so if you look at so first in this feature section look what gpu card this instance type has if you look here it says it has nvidia t4 tensor core gpu now t here stands for turing now go to g5 search for nvidia card it says 8 nvidia a10g a here stands for ampere if you look at g5g we have this two nvidia t4g t here stands for turing click on p2 p2 says nvidia k80 k here stands for kepler then p3 p3 goes with tesla v100 so v stands for volta p4 it has 8 nvidia a100 a stands for ampere then we have p5 and p5 has 8 nvidia h100 and h is the latest hopper so this is how um, you get to know that which nvidia architecture your nvidia gpu is using and because other cloud providers or other gpu providers or any other even if you install it on your own local system the nvidia card it must have this model number just get this uh, alphabet and then you can tell okay this this is hopper ampere or whatever nvidia architecture is and then as i described in detail what exactly each architecture is geared towards i hope that you found it useful um, because these are the things which make the fundamentals of this machine learning and AI it is not all about you know running the models using or maybe you know uh, morphing and mutating your photos or generating digital stuff or chatting with GPT there is much more to this artificial intelligence and machine learning and we must know all of these in intricacies and nitty-gritty of what exactly we are using that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it and if you have any comments or thoughts please share it in the comments i'll be very obliged 
and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed do me a personal favor and share it among your network um, as it that helps a lot thanks for watching